Let's go. And we will sing. Oh. December 2021. Now I'm here to talk to you about the dangers of religion. Today is the first Sunday in the month of December and we're getting closer to Christmas and you should understand who the reason is for the season rather than being involved with the dangers of religion. Our scripture reading today will be going to the gospel, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John in chapter 5. And we'll be reading from the 36th verse. Let's go. But I have greater witness than that of John. For the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do bear witness of me, that the Father hath sent me. And the Father himself which hath sent me hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. And ye have not his word abiding in you. For whom he had sent him ye believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them you think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me that ye might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you that you have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. How can you believe which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? This is the gospel of Christ, praise to Christ our Lord. Now talking about the dangers of religion, of course you should know, or let me explain that, Dangers have to do with things that may not be palatable, that may bring unpleasant results, that may bring unfavorable disposition, that may lead to loss of certain things, including loss of life. Those are things that are related with danger. And then religion is your system of belief. And if that system of belief is outside Christ, then it is vain religion that has danger, curtailing, and could lead to unpleasant situations for you. But faith in Christ is more than religion. It's a relationship. And that is the one that has no danger. But let's go back to this story that we just read or the words of Jesus Christ himself because he was the one speaking here actually and he was speaking because the Jews were planning to kill him just because he healed a man that had been there for 38 good years 
and they asked him how did this happen he said my father walketh hitherto and now i walk you find that in the gospel that i just read in chapter 5 and in verse 17 and immediately after that the jews sought the more to kill him i, I wonder what kind of people those jews were somebody was there 38 good years the entire earthly ministry of jesus christ i mean his life his birth his ministry everything was approximately 33 years which means at that as at the point that this was happening even it was if it was happening towards the tail end of the life and times of jesus as man then that means that man was had been lame and had been in that position at least five years before Jesus was born. And all the Jews were there. And all the Jews did nothing in those 38 years that that man was there. And then somebody came to heal him. But all those Jews, they did everything. They fasted. They prayed three times daily. They observed the moon. They observed the sun. Everything having to do with religion, they did. In fact, you know what? They read the scriptures. And everything was just religion and they thought they were doing what was right in the sight of God. And that was why Jesus himself said he would not be the one to convict them. But Moses, whom they read through the Torah, would convict them. And that they should search the scriptures very well. Because if they did, they would recognize that all the prophecies about Christ, that the government should be upon his shoulders, and how he would be born, and how he will die. Everything had been in those scriptures. So they are the same scriptures that testified of Jesus Christ, but because of the dangers of religion, these people did not recognize him. They didn't know he was the one. You know, another thing that we need to know, in the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, this same gospel according to St. John in chapter 1, verse 27, James, John the Baptist bore witness that... Jesus was the one, the latchet of whose shoes he was not fit to untie. And Jesus himself mentioned this here again too, that even if you believed in John the Baptist, his testimony was not as great as the testimony of Jesus Christ. John the Baptist was just the forerunner. And so you need to know what the dangers of religion are. And those dangers have to do with not recognizing that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, pure and simple. And any, any religion, any faith, having the form of godliness but denying the power thereof, you find that in 2 Timothy 3, 5, that's a dangerous religion because the real faith is faith in Christ. And before I quickly round up, let me read to you another fairly long passage. This one is in the epistle, the first epistle of John, epistle general of John in chapter 5. And I'll read uh, from, sorry, it's in chapter 4, and I'll read from the very beginning. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, that is, be wary of the dangers of religion, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world, preaching dangerous religion. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. That one portends no danger for you. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. That is dangerous religion. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard, that it should come, and even now already is in the world. It had been in the world all that time, 2,000 years ago. Ye are of God, that if you are a Christian, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you, than he that is in the world that is full of the dangers of religion. They are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. 
if you are part of Christ like me, we are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us and gets into the danger of religion. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. So anybody that does not show love is playing with the dangers of religion. In this was manifested the love of God towards us because that God sent his only begotten son. And that is the crux of the whole matter. We've said this several times. God sending his only begotten son is the only one that can take you far away from the dangers of religion. And he sent him, he sent him into the world that we might live through him. Hearing his love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. And once you key into that pronto, you are out far away from the dangers of religion. If you want to get away from the dangers of religion, therefore, we've told you that there is only one name by which you should be saved, and that he is the son of God, and his blood was shed for the proposition for our sins. So how do you now appropriate this? Is by saying a prayer of confession. Confessing your sins and accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And if you are set for that experience, right now, it's quite easy. Just follow me. Say this prayer after me now. Say, Lord, I come to you today. I've just heard about the dangers of religion. And now I want to declare completely for you. I want to give my life to Christ. I want to forsake my old ways. Therefore, forgive me of my sinful past and let me from today be completely attuned to you to follow you all the days of my life from today, to avoid the dangers of religion, I pray in Jesus' name. So you are welcome to the kingdom if you said that prayer. And for all of us together, as we go out for the rest of this day, let's say this prayer together. Say, Lord, let me be transformed and regenerated every day by your word, that I may dwell with my brethren, recognizing that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, Worship you, my God and my Father, in spirit, recognizing that you are spirit, and avoid the dangers of religion, I pray in Jesus' name. So go out, recognize the dangers of religion, and it will be well with you. God bless you. I judge you faithful.